Life at Home magazine presents an inside look at the rugs created by Hillary Cooper Kenny and Crazy as a Loon. Hi, welcome to Crazy as a Loon. I'm Hillary Cooper Kenny, and today I'm going to show you how I came up with the Chunky Soulmate Sock Rug. So come on in, and we'll get started. Okay, now we're in my studio. This is an old house built in 1790 and this is where I do all my weaving. This is the finished product, this chunky soulmate sock rug. And it's hard to believe that this was made from socks, but I'm going to show you how that happened. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a container of sock seconds from the mill. These socks didn't make it through the process and they have a run in them or something else wrong with them, but they look perfectly good for our purpose. The only thing that matters when you're sewing these together is that you take the toe end, which has not been sewn at the mill, and the ankle end, and sew those two pieces together. Okay, so after a lot of right siding and a lot of sewing, we have yards and yards and yards of product ready to weave on the loom. This is a Reed Idea loom made about 1930. Someone has uh, outfitted this loom with a production wheel and we put the warp thread on this wheel to get started. There's 750 yards of warp thread on here. That's enough to last us for about two years. Once we wind the warp on the back, then we have to thread it through the heddles, and then we have to thread it through the reed, which is in the beater bar, and then we tie it onto the front beam. And now we're ready to weave. We finished our rug and now we're ready to take it off the loom so we can tie the fringe. I've done my header, so I take the brake, a little tension off the brake, release the back brake, and crank it ahead. Now we're going to cut it off the loom and we're just going to tie these up so that they're safe. We're releasing the brake there and now I'm just going to roll my rug up. This is the rug we just finished. Now all we have to do is tie our fringe. And then we just take the ends and tie our fringe. 